Hello, welcome to another Open Geospatial tutorial. In the last video, I show you how to use the Map Libre LiDAR plugin I created uh, for visualizing LiDAR point cloud in the browser with just a couple clicks. Uh, you can visualize data locally or you can also visualize uh, point cloud uh, store on the web. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access USGS um, 3 d program LiDAR point cloud using the tool that I built on top of this. Uh, on top of the uh, LiDAR plugin and I also have a website the link is in the video description below I'm going to show you how to access um, any LiDAR point cloud in the US uh, just with, with a couple clicks you can also download the data if you want to and this one shows you the coverage although right now because of my internet speed so you can it doesn't show you the full coverage but uh, when you zoom in you will see detailed coverage so here upper left corner you can see the legend showing you the point cloud uh, nominal point cloud spacing basically just the spatial resolution so darker blue means um, better uh, higher resolution lidar point cloud and this is 3.5 meter so basically every meter a uh, square meter you have um the, the spacing is roughly point uh, 30, 35 centimeter so it's pretty high that means within one uh, square meter you have multiple points within that uh, square uh, meter put uh, footage and uh, you're welcome to zoom in to anywhere and then you can start visualizing but i also want to show you um here the data actually from the um microsoft printed computer uh, because we can use this uh stack api to query the data and then we use the map libre plugin to visualize the point cloud so if you want the original data source you're welcome to check out the printed computer noble example how to access that it's pretty complicated like if you're new to programming uh, this might tell you why and you also need to download the data but now with the plugin we can just visualize them uh, on on the fly without having to download any data uh, the source code for this uh, website is also available on github uh, link in the video description below you're welcome to check it out if you want to run this one on a local computer or you want to customize it you're welcome to adopt the source code so you need to have uh, npm uh, installed on your computer so you can just um, clone the repository so for example here i have cloned this one to my computer and then uh, you can just open the terminal uh, pretty simple easy and then just run npm i to install all the dependencies then npm run build to build the website and then once you have that you can uh, npm run dev to spin up this one on a local computer so it will be the same look at this one right now it's the same as the one that i deployed on giga pages so this is all uh, serverless is just a, a static website but it's pretty powerful because you can uh, use that to interact with the point cloud so now uh, let's get started i'm going to show you how to utilize that upper left corner you will see the legend you can uh, clap this one if it takes too much space on the right here uh, there are a couple buttons so the first one is the layer control allows you to turn the layer on and off so this is also one of the plugin that i created for map libre so you can hide all the plug uh the, the the layers or you can turn individual one we can have the setup imagery and this one is the 3d index this it shows you the coverage for the light output cloud you can also change the opacity uh, if you want to uh, there's also the uh, allows you to change the the size of the widget and the most important one is this button so the second last one allows you to search the data so you can search by the map extent or you can draw a rectangle right now um, you can zoom to anywhere you like for example uh, i want to look into chicago you can zoom in or you can press uh, shift on your keyboard and then just draw a rectangle it will just zoom to the area so you can continue to zoom in after you zoom into a certain level then the um the three depth index is not showing up anymore okay so once you have this uh, zoom to the area of interest then you can either just search by the map extend or you can more precisely do a rectangle so click this button to do a rectangle they say okay i want to look in the point cloud uh, in the chicago downtown area so you can do a rectangle and then just click this button search uh, drone area and then so you see here just within seconds i now have all the basically the footprints covering this area in chicago and on the right here you can also show the list of the data set here you can click the plus button to load the data set or a better way would be to just click your mouse on the map 
somewhere and then uh, you can select multiple if you want to here i select two footprints and then on the right you can see it's uh, synchronized so it will show you two uh still have been selected if you want to see uh, maybe um scroll down you will see it's being highlighted here in this panel and you don't have to click that you just click this low uh, selected button you will be able to load the data set directly into the uh, browser so take a look super cool super nice and then you can press control on your keyboard to show the building so take a look at it like this and uh, it's automatically visualized it's really really fast um you don't have to download the data so it's using the lidar uh, point cloud 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 optimized point cloud copy uh, store on plenty of computer so we are streaming the data on the fly so you can zoom in and zoom out you can rotate it's pretty responsive uh, so it's really really cool also at the bottom here there are a couple more buttons copy sign uil because plenty of computer although they provide this for free but um it's not like direct uil you need to basically query and then you're going to generate a temporary token so we use the basically the token attached to the uil to actually generate that and you can also click the button here to click to download this one to your computer so just click this download button uh it will pop out a dialog and then you can uh, store uh, download this individual point cloud uh, files to the computer i'm going to skip that i'm just showing you it's possible also um oops you can also copy the sign url just want to show you what it looks like so i can copy this sign url and then i can open a notepad here <laughs> i can paste them uh, you will notice here these are basically just the url for each individual one and the direct url here and then you have the question mark with a token so this is the one used to access the tem uh, data temporarily and this uil is actually pretty useful because it has direct access to the data you can copy this one and then paste to the browser you can download the data but you can also use the lidar point cloud viewer so the one that i showcased in the last video and in here i can just paste this uil uh, click the load button you can also load the data directly like this uh, so it's either way it's fine uh, you can just use the usgs uh, lidar viewer to just do them but i'm just showing you the uil the reason why i have that uh, in the uh, web portal here is to allow you to get the access to the uil that you can visualize them okay so once you load the data uh, there are a couple buttons here allows you to basically uh, change the visualization so for example here i can change the point size uh, to make it more smooth or just showing the point by default the point size is just two also you can change the opacity if you want to and also the g offset the g offset is because uh, the lidar point cloud the height xyz the g is absolute elevation is not the relative height so here by default it's going to calculate the relative height and then to apply the g offset to bring it down to the ground otherwise it should be like render in the uh, in the sky so if you drag this one and here you will allow origin one is 174 if you drag this one you will see it's up and down um, so by default for example this is the uh, absolute elevation is like 174 that's why it's being rendered above the uh, the sky uh, the, the, the the ground but you can bring them down so this is automatic you don't have to change it it's automatically um apply the offset so it's minus minus the uh height uh the, the elevation to bring down to the ground so um zero uh, so basically you got the, this more closer to the uh basement and so this is uh, basically the two uh, image timing here also you can turn the layer on or off from the layer control here uh, you can also turn off for example the lidar point cloud uh, the footprint if you want to so right now this was showing you two uh lidar point cloud tiles and there are a couple more here you can also do the uh, point picking if you enable this point picking then hover your mouse on the map it will show you the each individual points you if you hover your mouse you will see the point is being highlighted as yellow color it's a little bit covered by the by the the cursor but you can see clearly here every point is um you can get the information uh, for individual one also you can apply the uh elevation filter oops so elevation filter allows you to uh, do the slicing 
here if you just slide it down you will see the elevation uh, pretty cool you can slide from the left to the right from the right to the left uh, either one is fine besides that you can also change the uh, visualization so here i can change it by intensity so if i switched it now you see the intensity imagery um, and the white color represent higher refractance higher intent like intensity so basically the signal return back to the sensor is much stronger compared to the dark color because some of those are being absorbed especially for example trees water something like that uh, it will be represented as uh, dark color you can also um, change to the classification so the classification is basically the uh, class embedded within each point and you can turn all the layer on and off uh, or you can turn on individual one here a uh, low elevation medium and high pretty interesting because most of the buildings the the the, um, the border it's all represented as high um vegetation so this is probably some like data quality issue if you want to verify that it verify you can turn on the um point picker so you have your mouse take a look this one it indeed uh, uh classify as high elevation which is definitely not so i don't know why but uh, this is something you can certainly explore and then give feedback to the usgs regarding the uh, data quality and the last one is rgb so for this one it's not always available so if it's not available it's basically just the elevation and not all the data has rgb i'm not quite sure which area has rgb like attribute for the for the us but some of them does have uh, similar to what the the light up viewer that i show you uh, in the last video some of those has the let me show you here light oops uh light up viewer and so some of the sample data say if you have the rgb then if you switch to the rgb you can show the rgb uh, like this uh, very very cool but but the one that i'm showing here doesn't have uh, the rgb and so once you are done you can for example clear the selection or you can clear all the data layers uh, if you want to then everything will be gone so then you can start drawing a rectangle somewhere else so it's clear the rectangle okay and then you can start exploring other region so when you zoom out you will see it's different coverage uh, if you're not focusing on um urban area yeah you can also do any uh visualization on a mountain area uh, something like that so here for example they see how about somewhere here or uh, maybe zooming to uh no las vegas so let me turn off this data layer uh, just to see the background and maybe Colorado. I know there are a lot of mountains here. So you can zoom in to see some of those area. And then uh, here I can turn on this one. I can draw a rectangle maybe somewhere uh, here. And then search by this area. And so then this one. Oops. Interesting. So let me load this. And then. Okay, it says it's loaded. Uh interesting there might be a bug uh, let me restart uh, refresh here and then let me turn on the data layer again and then come to here colorado here again uh, and then draw a rectangle somewhere here so it's okay now it shows the the footprint right so here then i can click some of those i can load the data the same way that I showed you earlier in uh, Chicago, but this one is um, not urban area, so you can see certainly see. Wow, this is a huge difference. Really, I am not quite sure. Let me. Oh, maybe the next time I can add the terrain, so we can overlay the, the the stuff on top of the terrain. Then you can see it much much better. Yeah, you can see the kind of elevation differences in here. The data might have some quality issues. I'm not quite sure, but just showing you. This is the original data that we pull uh, from the LiDAR point cloud stored on plenty of computer. All right. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let me clear all the data layer. Clear the order selected. Then you return to the normal. So feel free to explore uh, any data set within the US and download the data if you want to do some analysis. But at least right now, uh, this is very easy to 
access compared to using the plain to the computer uh, to do the coding or you go to the USGS website you will still have to figure out how to download it from the national map and this tool makes it so much more accessible and i hope you find it useful you're welcome to adapt the source code the web app to your own lidar data if you want to uh, as long as you have some stack catalog so you can use this one to basically source any stack customized stack catalog and then to visualize them directly in the browser without having to host your own server so this is all deployed on uh, github pages uh, for free and um, that's all for this video i hope you find it useful i will see you in the next one take care